So in this video, I want to take a quick look at a very cool pen from Pilot called the Timeline. This is a gel pen from Pilot. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. It's a little bit on the expensive side, it sells for about $30. And it's not super popular, but it's definitely cool. So I wanted to show it to everyone. It's very similar to the Pilot Ageless. And it's not really clear what the difference between the two are. For a while, I thought the Ageless is the ballpoint and the Timeline is the gel, as it clearly says but the uh, Ageless used to be sold in a gel, so it's very confusing. If you know the difference, uh, please leave a comment. Anyway, back to the timeline. Timeline. It's a higher-end pen from Pilot, again, about $30. So it's not a specialty pen. It's not like a Pilot Custom 74 uh, Rollerball or something like that. It's still kind of a standard executive type pen. Uh, the main feature of it is that it is a double knock. So basically you twist it once to put the tip out and then you twist it again to extend the writing piece. It's a two-part action, hence the double knock. It's, it's a little bit strange for double knock because it's a twist. You're not actually knocking it, so maybe it's not technically a double knock, but it's, that is in essence what it is. Uh, as I said, the pen is on the expensive side, which is why I think not too many people tend to pick them up. It's also a little bit confusing since the timeline is so similar to the Ageless. Uh, one of the nice features with it is it comes with some really high-end kit. So when you buy it, you get this box and it's got, it's very designy. It's, uh, who are you? Timeline, I'm Timeline, nice to meet you. Which is like easy to make fun of, but it's, you know, it's nice that they put the effort forth. And you can see that it says Timeline here in the, the printing, but it says gel in the sticker, which makes me think the Timeline is sold in both a ballpoint and a gel. So maybe the Ageless is just a different set of colors. It's not really clear. Inside the box, you get this really cool plastic tube that says timeline on it. And this is not only great for shipping to protect it. You can see it's a nice thick plastic, but it has a little insert here. So you could actually get the pen and put it down on your desk and it acts as a pen stand which is a very nice feature. Uh, you know, this is like a pen stone or pen stand. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use it, I'm not really sure. It is pretty nice, has a kind of all white piece of plastic, kind of a built-in stand, I guess, really not too much else to it. It'll be useful for shipping pens in the future, maybe. And there is an instruction manual that comes with it. Again, dedicated for the timeline, which is nice to see. Uh, a lot of pens just use the same, even expensive pens just use the same instruction manual across, you know, the line of a dozen pens or something. So this one is the timeline. Uh, we see, shows how it works. They call the front end a mouthpiece, which is a little bit strange. And then there's the tip that extends by twisting the barrel. Uh, it shows all the refills that are, that work with it, which is really interesting. And they specifically cite the BRFN series, which we've talked about before on the channel a number of times, as well as what it included, the BLGS. Uh, and then there's more BRFNs. So we'll get back to the refill in a minute. And not too much else to it. Uh, they do point out something that this is sold in aluminum, resin, and wood bodies. Uh, I haven't seen the aluminum ones for sale. I obviously have the resin, which is a plastic one. And then there's the wood. I've seen those for sale. They tend to be rare and expensive. So if you find one, grab it. As for the pen itself, you can see it has a clear or like a smoke body here. And you can probably just make out the mechanism here and it's a double spring. So right here is the spring. When you twist it, the main spring turns, it locks, and then it springs again just a little bit though you can see right there just a, a little bit to lock it there right and then the main spring so it's a very cool action the this piece is plastic a little bit of metal hardware this is the resin again just plastic metal clip it's a little bit short for the pen it's a little stocky and then metal finial or cap or whatever you want to call it here is the front piece the mouth so it is flat here so it's very pocketable the way a double knock would be 
and you turn it, locks out, turn it again. And you could keep it like this for any amount of time if you want. And you probably use it at your desk. I would just leave it like this and twist it when I need it. And when you're traveling, you do the full twist. It's a nice action too. You see, it doesn't slam back. It goes back silently and effortlessly. Uh, it will lock right here. You can see it goes up, hits the apex, then it seats and goes back down. That's how it's, you know, it's locked. That way you can never push too hard and push it back in. Opening the pen up, you just twist the other direction. We can see nice piece of metal hardware, which is indicative of a, a you know, higher to mid-end pilot pen. Uh, they do, you know, just really nice metal work on their pens. And then you can see there's a lot of uh, seating in here for the refill. It's not floating around in there. It's very solid in there. It's one of the reasons the pen doesn't have any sounds or shakes to it, which is nice. So this pen included the uh, BLGS5. This is the extra fine, so 0.5 millimeter gel refill. And I think this is the older Pilot Rollerball refill. It's really just a gel refill. I'm not sure what they call it Rollerball. But this is kind of the older, old school one. And I'm not sure if this is commonly sold anymore. I know you can buy it. They sell for like maybe like five bucks, but I'm not sure if it's like a modern pilot refill or it's really been phased out. If you look at the front piece and then the barrel, it actually, it looks a whole lot just like a short pilot G2 style refill that they just shut, you know, cut the end down, put some cool gold stuff on it and then put the cap in. So uh, replicating this refill with a pilot or Pentel might actually be pretty easy. And you can see without the twist action, this, this is all just spring loaded. The twist is just the mechanism, I believe in here, extending out. But from this perspective, it's just a push, which is, I, I guess doesn't really mean anything. It's just interesting. Another thing that's interesting is all this is locked away. So it's nice that the springs will never come undone and fall apart or anything like that. But also if anything did happen, I don't quite know what you're gonna do because everything is locked away. So I would say be careful if you drop this. Speaking of the refills, again, this is kind of a strange refill. Uh, I don't entirely love it, it's fine. We'll get into the writing in a minute. But the more popular refill or something like this would be the BRF or the BRFN refills. And these are the ones in a Dr. Grip or a Pilot Legno uh, or an S20, some of those other ones. And these are more common these days, either the metal body or plastic body. And you can see the contours of this are, the size is the same. The contours are similar, but not the same. Basically right here, this shoulder piece is smaller. So ideally you'd put some sort of donut here, which would be easy to find. Just use a piece of a pen refill, like the, the cap that comes on one of these, just cut it down and put it on there like a donut. But Pilot does say these ink, these come and they will fit natively. Uh, you could see uh, the BRFNs are here. The BRFN is the same shape as the BRF. So uh, put it in here, screw it down. And you can see what happens is the tip extends just a little bit. So you turn it, goes out, goes out, turn it back extends a tiny little bit. And it's funny because if you were to push it in, it will stay in or mostly stay in. So if you hit it, it'll pretty much stay in. But if you put it back out, it doesn't retract fully. So you can see it's just sort of poking out a little bit there, which is really not ideal. Uh, it's not gonna write, which there's nothing behind it locking it out, but definitely not ideal. Uh, and I don't have a BRFN handy. Otherwise I'll put that, but that should be the same shape. So refill situation with this is a little, little bit questionable. Uh, you do have obviously this BGLS or whatever it's called, which is a, an okay gel refill. Uh, so this is the pilot timeline gel
just a nice gel refill, no problems here. Just it's very standard, not too much to write home about. It's, uh, you know, Pilot makes nice gels. This is fine. I'd, I'd rather see it in a 0.7 millimeter for me. Uh, this is pretty good for 0.5. It's, it's smooth, it's very nice to write with day to day. Uh, it's not particularly fun. I like the BRFN a lot better. That has a really kind of special, unique feel to it. This one does not have that, but it's completely functional and totally fine. Uh, so that went on for longer than I thought, but this is the Pilot Timeline. Cool, quirky pen, probably not worth $30, but definitely fun. And if you are a collector of double knock mechanism pens and pencils, then I think this one does probably belong in your collection, plus it is a, a bit of a quirky pen and pretty interesting. And nice to have with you day to day. So that about covers it. Thanks for watching.